Mediation is a process where two parties who are disputing choose a neutral third party who is impartial, is meant to be impartial, who is not in charge of the dispute or its outcome, but basically facilitate, facilitates the two parties to be able to communicate each other and to listen to each other. It is non-adversarial, it is non-coercive, it's voluntary, it is flexible, and it is confidential. Mediation being non-adversarial has a greater chance of giving the parties their human needs better than the best adversarial outcome in any court of law. As a global social movement sitting side by side with other dispute resolution processes, mediation in its modern form is new, but in its basic principle it is ancient. It is mentioned in all the great scriptures of the world. It is mentioned in all societies and cultures and traditions. In Islam, it finds its provenance in the Holy Quran. In chapter 458, the Quran states, Allah commands you to render back your trusts to those whom, to whom they are due. And when you judge between man and man, that you may judge with justice. Verily, how excellent is the teaching which he gives you. For Allah is he who hears and sees all things. So mediation and non-adversarial dispute resolution has its provenance in Islamic juridical thought in the form of sulh, which, translate, which translates as negotiated settlement. This notion is alive in the hadiths of the Prophet, peace of Allah be upon him, and in the teachings of the Imams, the Caliphs, and various great sages in Muslim juridical history. What, may you ask, is its relevance to us today? Well, during this Ramadan, we are in the midst of a global pandemic. Families are mandated to stay indoors. Movement outdoors is severely restricted. Disputes are bound to arise. Economic stringency will give rise to new tensions. Intergenerational relations could become severely strained. Abuse can take place across various divides. It is here that a need for deeper reflection is called for. This calls for compassion in our relationship, among ourselves and between ourselves and others. It calls for anger management. It calls for forgiveness in keeping with the teachings of the Holy Quran. And above all, it calls for humility in the face of the transcendent, that entity from whom we all come and to whom only do we all return. Mediation as a process draws from the deepest wellsprings of Islamic values. At the same time, it helps families to respect the context of the time in which we are living today, allowing us to settle our differences in accordance with the laws of the land without in any way violating the principles and ethics of our faith.